Hi there and welcome to our next video on energy resources. This is a continuation from our last video, but in this video we're going to be going through some exam questions. So let's get started. Our first exam question states, The picture shows a temporary road traffic information board. Which one of the following statements gives the reasons for using solar cells to charge the batteries? Solar cells will charge the batteries day and night. The information board can be used anywhere it is needed. A, solar num uh, a small number of sm solar cells produce a lot of electricity. So the answer to this would be B. The information board can be used anywhere it is needed because the solar cells run on batteries. So And it has wheels so it can be used anywhere that it is needed. So that will give you one mark. Next question. List A gives three energy resources used to generate electricity. List B gives environmental problems that may be caused by using different energy resources. Draw a straight line from each energy resource to list A to the environmental problem it may cause in list B. Draw three lines only. So wind, this would be, uh, we've seen that it produces a lot of noise when the turbines are turning, so it would be, produces a lot of noise. Tides. This would be it destroys habitat of wading birds in river estuaries. You have the key word that gives away its river over here. And the falling water hydroelectricity would be D because this is falling water, so it can be it can be used to flood lands um and destroy farming or forestry. And having those in the correct places will give you three marks. Next question. Give one disadvantage of using a wind generator to charge a battery. And the answer to this would be the wind may not always blow. The wind may not always blow. Because a wind generator needs wind. And the disadvantage is that the wind may, may not always blow. Next question, the picture shows a solar powered aircraft. The aircraft has no pilot. On a summer day, 175,000 uh, joules of energy are supplied to the aircraft's solar cells every second. The useful energy transferred by the solar cells is 35,000 joules every second. The aircraft propellers are driven by electric motors as well as the solar cells. There are fuel cells that provide additional power to the electric motors. Suggest one advantage of the aircraft having fuel cells as well as solar cells. So this means if it has fuel cells as well as solar cells, solar cells can help it fly in the daytime because solar cells use sunlight to generate um, energy. So the advantage of having fuel cells could be that it can fly at night. Because there's no sun at night, so the solar cells would be quite rubbish because they would be uh, they would not be useful. But fuel cells will help you fly at night. Next question: The picture shows a solar-powered aircraft. The aircraft has no pilot. Give one environmental advantage of using electric motors to drive the aircraft propellers than the motors that burn a fuel. So when we're burning a fuel, it produces gases. Um, and if we use electric motors, there are no gases produced. And that would be the answers to this. And that would give you one mark. Next question. A wood burning stove is used to heat a room. Some people heat their rooms using electric heaters. Other people heat their rooms using a wood burning stove. Give two environmental advantages of using a wood burning stove to heat a home rather than heaters that use electricity um, generated from fossil fuels so one advantage could be that wood is renewable as long as we don't stop planting trees wood is renewable so that means we won't run out of it so using wood would be an advantage because it's renewable um, and for um, and fossil fuels are not used so fossil fuels are a very big disadvantage to the environment it can release a lot of gas so a key advantage over here is that fossil fuels are not used and that would give you two marks last question 
Different energy resources are used to generate electricity. Use words from the box to match the correct energy source to each of the descriptions given in the table. So we have energy from the Earth's core is used to heat water. So this would be clearly geothermal. We've seen in our last video. Geothermal. Fission of uranium nuclei is used to heat water. So the word nuclei gives it away. It's nuclear. And finally, gases from rotting plant material are burned to heat water. So the correct answer to this would be biofuels. Because plant material is associated with biofuels. And that, all those correct three answers would give you three marks. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.